Now in this video I want to show you a relatively easy way to use MailChimp to collect email addresses from your readers via your WordPress blog so that you can start building a list. Now the best way to ask people to register with their email address is usually to offer them something for free such as an ebook or audio file or video. So in this simple example I'll show you how you can use MailChimp to offer a free downloadable item to someone who registers from your blog. After the registration they'll receive an email to confirm their email address followed by another thank you email which will contain the download link. But before I go on I'm assuming that you already have a MailChimp account and if you don't simply go to MailChimp.com and register for free. Okay, so once you've logged into your MailChimp account, you'll be directed to the dashboard page as you can see. Now first up, I want to highlight that there are two ways you can use a MailChimp sign-up form. The first way is to provide a link from your blog which will take your readers to a MailChimp sign-up form which is hosted on the MailChimp server. The second way is to display the actual MailChimp sign-up form in your own blog. Now either way is okay and it's really a matter of personal preference and we'll look at both of these methods in this video. Okay so let's get started. First up we'll need to create a subscriber list. So we'll do this by clicking on the create a subscriber list button. Now to create a subscriber list, MailChimp asks you to fill in various details as you can see here. So go ahead and fill in those details and when you're ready click the save button. So once you've filled in the subscriber list details and saved them, you'll be taken to this page here. Now in the next step we will create a sign up form. So to do that we'll click on the create a sign up form button. This will take you to the form page and the first thing you'll see is a simple sign up form here. This will be the form that your readers see when they click on the link that you will provide them in your blog. Now in this part of the process MailChimp allows you to manipulate and design your form and its colors and backgrounds and other formatting. But for our example we'll keep our form simple which means we'll leave most of it as it is. But first up, we'll add a message to the form by clicking on the edit button inside the dotted box. Now we can add whatever message we like to the form. For instance, I might write, get our free ebook by subscribing to our blog and I might want to change the font or the size, make it bold and maybe even change the color. So once I'm happy with my message I can click the Save Now button and when the page refreshes you'll see your message at the top of the form here. For our simple example, that's pretty much it as far as the form design goes. But you can of course format the look of your form by going to the designer tab and changing the colors and any other things you wish. You can also translate your forms into various languages by going to the translate tab. But for our simple example, we'll move on. So now we'll click on the share it tab. Okay, so here is where we get our HTML code which will contain the link to the form that we've just designed. Now remember, this was the method one of using a MailChimp form. To demonstrate this, I've simply inserted the HTML code into one of my posts, as you can see here. So upon clicking on the link, you'll see that the link will take me to the form that we just designed in MailChimp and when the user fills in their email address and first name and last name they will subscribe to my list. So that was one of the ways of using the MailChimp sign up form. Now the second way is to actually display the sign up form in your own blog instead of using a link and to do that 
you just simply click on the create HTML code for a small subscriber form button which is the right grey button here. Now upon clicking on that it will take you to this page here and as you can see MailChimp gives you three options of the style of sign up form that you can display on your own page. Now for our example we'll just stick with the default super slim form which is what you see here and to demonstrate this let's highlight the code and after copying the HTML code for the form I've logged into my administration page of my WordPress blog and gone to the widgets menu and next I'll just simply drag a text widget to the right hand widget area and I will paste the HTML code for the form. Now I may want to change the message inside the form currently it says subscribe to our mailing list I might change it to get our free ebook by subscribing. I'll save that and now we'll go back to our front page of our blog and refresh the page and there's the form here with the subscribe button and the message. Okay so now that we've done our sign up form the next thing we'll need to do is construct our welcome email which will include the link to the free ebook or other downloadable item. So to do this we'll go back to our MailChimp account and from, from there we'll click on create forms which is the link here. So once in the forms page we will click the drop down box and select final welcome email. Now this will be the email that your subscribers will receive after they've confirmed their email address. So within this email let's modify the message by clicking on the dotted box on the edit button. What we will do is add our own message to this text which tells our subscribers where they can download their free ebook. So maybe we can write something like you can download your free ebook by clicking on the following link. Now here you can add your own link where you may be hosting the free ebook from or you can actually upload the ebook to the MailChimp server. So to upload your downloadable item, which in our case will be a free ebook, to the MailChimp server, I'll click on the link icon shown in the toolbar. And then to upload from your own computer, click on the upload tab and locate the file that you wish to upload. After you've located your file, click on the send it to the server button and then click OK. As you can see MailChimp has added a link to your free ebook file which is hosted off the MailChimp server. Now one thing you should know about uploading files to the MailChimp server is that there is a 10 megabyte limit for file sizes. So moving right along if we're happy with our message and we've got our upload link we can click the Save Now button and once the page refreshes you'll see our newly modified message with the ebook download link within the message. And now to save this configuration we will click the blue Save button. And that's it. So now we've done our sign up forms and we've also created a welcome email which will contain a download link for the free ebook. So if you're happy with this just click on the save and exit button and you're done. So in effect we've created our sign up form which will either be via a link or it'll be displayed in our blog and we've also designed a welcome email 
after our subscriber has confirmed their email address and the welcome email will contain the download link to the free ebook. So this concludes our simple example where we are using MailChimp to build a list whilst offering a free downloadable item. But before I go, I want to briefly mention that you can also use the WP eStore plugin to add an extra dimension of security to your download link. For instance, with the example we've just done, there is nothing to stop people from forwarding your download link to their friends, which means you miss out on signing up these people to your email list. But you can integrate the eStore plugin to your MailChimp list, and by doing so you can encrypt your download link with an address which expires after a certain amount of time. Integrating the eStore with MailChimp is quite simple. You simply go to your WordPress administration page and at the WP eStore section go to the settings link and then from within the settings link you click on the autoresponder settings. Now from within this page I can enter the required MailChimp settings which will enable me to link my MailChimp list with my eStore plugin. Well that's it for today. Thanks for your time and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.